The Gong Farmers, Sanitation in the Middle Ages Today on Echoes Through Time Channel In medieval England, specifically between the 14th and 17th centuries, there existed a job as unpleasant as it was essential, that of the gong farmers. These workers, whose name comes from the Old English gang, meaning path, were responsible for collecting and disposing of human waste from the latrines and cesspits of the cities. Armed with shovels, buckets, and wheelbarrows, they worked primarily at night to avoid contact with citizens and minimize the impact of the foul smell. The reason for working at night was not only to avoid the odor, but also to maintain a certain level of anonymity and dignity as they were looked down upon by society. The work of the gong farmers was crucial for maintaining public hygiene and preventing the spread of diseases like cholera and dysentery. Without their work, medieval cities would have been much more unsanitary and dangerous to public health. The gong farmers were the unsung heroes of urban sanitation, risking their health daily in extremely hazardous and unhygienic conditions. Despite the repugnant nature of their work, gong farmers could earn up to six pence a day, a considerable wage compared to other low-class jobs. Additionally, they had the right to sell the collected material as fertilizer, known as night soil, to farmers. This fertilizer was valuable for agriculture and provided extra income for the gong farmers, allowing them to slightly improve their living conditions. However, this job came with significant risks. Gong farmers were constantly exposed to unsanitary conditions and diseases. There was no protective equipment, making their work extremely dangerous. Furthermore, they were social outcasts. They lived in peripheral areas of the cities, far from the rest of the population, and had little social contact with other citizens due to the stigma associated with their labor. Despite the social disdain, their work was vital. Without them, medieval cities would have faced even greater issues of unsanitation and diseases transmitted by human waste. The gong farmers helped keep the streets clean and provided fertilizer to local agriculture, significantly contributing to the region's economy. The sale of night soil, as fertilizer was a common and necessary practice for fertilizing agricultural fields, showing how even the darkest jobs had a crucial role in medieval society. The work of the gong farmers was also regulated by specific laws. In some cities, they were assigned specific areas to deposit the waste outside the city limits. Additionally, local authorities sometimes hired gong farmers for specific tasks, ensuring that the work was done in an organized and effective manner. Over time, with the advent of more advanced sanitation technologies, the role of the gong farmers diminished. The introduction of more modern sewer systems in cities reduced the need for this type of work. However, their legacy remains a reminder of the challenges and solutions of medieval life. The gong farmers, though despised and marginalized, played an indispensable role in the social and sanitary structure of their time. Additionally, in some European cities outside of England, there were similar jobs with different names and working conditions, indicating that the need for this type of work was universal in medieval societies. Modern popular culture rarely mentions the gong farmers, but they have been portrayed in some documentaries and historical series that explore medieval life, highlighting the importance and sacrifice of these workers. Thus, the gong farmers, with their shovels and buckets, their nocturnal bravery, and their indispensable work, represent a fundamental and fascinating part of medieval history, a reminder of how society has evolved in terms of sanitation and public health. These workers, though forgotten by many, played a crucial role in maintaining hygiene and preventing disease in medieval cities, allowing urban life to continue in a healthier and more sustainable manner. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.